you don't see anything about that in mainstream media at all. So I think that this video that we're putting out or this information we're putting out is critical for people to understand. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you do something and you have to be willing to go all out. This is where we are from a humanity level right now. Every person on this planet dealing with this idiocy. You see this happening, but mainstream media won't show that. If you comply, you are consenting. And this is the thing that people have to understand. I'm trying to make a visual picture so people understand how serious this is. You cannot comply with these ridiculous components because by doing so, you're consenting and now the next thing falls into place. Truth can't be really censored. You know, no matter how much they try to press it, it'll be no, whether it's six days, six weeks, six months. Don't worry about the truth. It will become known. In order for us to really make a difference, we have to understand that if you're not part of the solution, by definition, you're part of the problem. Right? There's no, well, I'm neutral. There's no neutrality here. You're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. So we have to all now start becoming part of the solution. You have to, one, resist it. You have to say, I don't consent to this. I am not in agreement with this. I don't want to have this done. You make sure you voice it. And if enough of you do that, they're not, what are they going to do? They're going to bring in those three people or five people or 10 people against a hundred people. You got to understand, you got to resist. If you don't resist, then you're complying and you're consenting. That compliance is implied consent. And that's where they're going to get mankind. We have to stand up and whatever it is, people are looking for leadership and they they don't, they want to know that there's another option and every opportunity we get to stand up, we must do that. We have to do that. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem by definition. And it's beyond this country and this constitution. It's a war on consciousness. It's a war against exactly. humanity right now. So no matter which country somebody is listening to this from. So what exactly. we're doing right now, we are not just fighting for the United States and the U.S. Constitution, we are fighting for mankind. We are fighting for the future of the human species. And I'm not trying to be melodramatic. Truth can't be really censored. You know, no matter how much they try to press it, uh, it'll be known. Whether it's six days, six weeks, six months, don't worry about the truth. It will become known. It doesn't matter whether it's your race, your ethnicity, your religion, your creed, your nationality, uh, whether it's your beliefs, whatever it is, it's the same thing. Whether you've been segregated out because you're a female, or whether you're African-American or you're Latino or because you believe that there's a better way of a person to make a choice for their own health or their, their child's health. We allow a government to dictate the foods we take into our mouth. Our souls will soon be in the same sorry state as those who live under tyranny. So why are we allowing someone outside of our body to dictate how we treat our own body, our own temples that the creator gave to us? It's our sovereign right over our own body. Because if they say that they can have the right over our bodies, that's slavery. And that's exactly what's happening right now. It's sovereignty. It's our own decision to make what we decide to do with our bodies. And nobody should dictate that. Everything's coming to a head. I think people on one side and the other side are starting to see that there's something else going on here. There's an agenda. And the beautiful part is it is coming to a head. And what lies over the ridge is a beautiful world with everything is going to be fair and equitable. And I think people standing up and people being upset, they have every right to be upset. I would ask people to open your eyes and not everything appears to be as it is. I think more and more people are seeing that. There's an agenda. They will play that division aspect, right? It's always divide and conquer. That's what the system has done. And I don't think it's just in our country. It's all over the world. And it's not just been in the last 10 or 20 or 30 years. It's been over centuries. And if I am being optimistic, somebody may say that I'm being optimistic. I'm not being optimistic. I'm just observing. I think that the media, if they're not reporting the truth, they have an agenda. This is the conspiratorial theorist label that they've put on me and you and many other people. You know, this is a way to dissuade the conversation, to prevent people from discussing the topic at hand, because it's a conspiracy against not just the people of America, it's a conspiracy against mankind. It's a war in consciousness. It's misinformation. I think that we have to remember history teaches us so much and Never before has there ever been a situation where a government or an organization or a society has made any difference. It's always been when the public demands it, when the public stands up. It's always been the, the impetus that makes change. And I think that's happening universally across the planet.
I do think that we in the United States have a very unique role. I think that it will be us that lead the way, and I think that we will lead the way, hopefully in a very peaceful way, that people will see that it is possible. I think the governments have to realize that a government should be in fear of the people, not the people of the government. If they want to have our confidence, if they want to have our votes, they need to help us, not hurt us. They have to look out for our best interest. If you beat a dog, that dog's not going to come around that long, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what they've done. They've beaten the public. They have done things that the public should never have to encounter. And it's been happening over the last hundred years or so. And I think at this time now, they're starting to recognize that there's only so much the public's going to take. And I just want to remind people that don't become enamored with what you're seeing from the media. Whatever you see from the media, look at the opposite, because it's not true. It, it's just simply not true. But the misinformation campaign to minimize ridicule and sometimes even demonize people of differing opinions, people forget that that's what makes the United States so great. Yeah. We have demonized people with different opinions, and yet that is what makes us the United States. And if somebody thinks that we should not have the freedom to express our belief system, you know, yours yeah. and my belief system, then I would tell them then you need to go to a socialist country, and that's fine. I have fought for the defense of this country, just like many millions have, so that you could have the ability to say whatever you want to say and disagree with me. That You have that right. I fought for that guy, and that is the right that our Constitution guarantees you. But guess what? That also gives me the same right. right. And now you, through the media, are going to go out there and lie. and say, Fine, they can lie all they want, but the public is getting smarter, and they've lost the confidence now in the public. Just like the government's lost the confidence in the people, media is losing the confidence. And that's why I know that something more beautiful is coming along the, along the side. And this is such an exciting time to be alive because it gives us a potential for an evolutionary leap that hasn't occurred in human in recorded history right now. This is a very critical time, but it's also an, a huge opportunity. Because right now we have the ability to turn the tables for the benefit of mankind. This illusion that's been created, uh, I think it's been created so that they can control the narrative. Part of that's not just the social media, it's also mainstream media and how they're censoring and then the social media ends up being like the, the secondary afterthought. And so one thing that I've heard the average person say, well, if that was true, then they, I'd hear about it in the news. Or if that was true, my doctor would be talking about it. If that was true, they expect it to be on mainstream news. No matter what anybody says, it may take a week, it may take a month, it may take a year, it may take thousands of years, but the truth will always sustain itself. And we are at that point in history right now that we must, as a global population, as a planetary population, recognize that one, we are all connected. Literally, we're all connected. If you study quantum physics, you already understand that. But we are all connected and our differences have been accentuated over the decades and over hundreds of years. If you think about it, divide and conquer. That's an old saying. So you first divide the populace and then you conquer them. So I'm asking for people to unite. We are a nation, a free nation, and we are the United States. And the world is a free nation. It's up to us to now define what that freedom means. Instead of wars being pitted against each other, we need to start looking at the similarities and see the similarities between ourselves. And then we can understand how this agenda began, how this agenda has gotten perpetrated. Not all the leaders are bad leaders. Some of these people are good people and they're trying to listen. It may not be the leaders, it may be the people who are surrounding the leaders. It needs to be flushed out. It needs to be flushed out, discovered, and those people, as far as I'm concerned, should be hung for treason. I know it's been a tough year for everyone, and, and I appreciate the trials and tribulations you've gone through, but hold your head up. Your energy should not be plagued by fear in any way, fashion, or form, all right? Don't allow fear to dictate your actions.